All right, folks, here we go. Back with another set box here. All will be one. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy opening this product for a long time. There's uh, still a lot of list cards that I just, every time I hit a new one and that alone is fun. Have not hit a Blight Steel yet. That is, I think, the ultimate list card. I'm not even 100% sure it's in here. I've heard it is, but I haven't seen one pulled. Blight Steel Colossus would be great. But all right, here, what we're gonna do, a little bit different, we are going to uh, price out the best cards we pull here. We're gonna use MTG Goldfish. Some of the um, Commander cards, pricing is a little bit off, like here, Synthesis Pod. Uh, I'm not sure what this says. But we'll see if it's accurate. So those cards fluctuate quite a bit. So I think sometimes, oh my gosh, these are these get me every time. Foil Phyrexian Land. Beauty. Love those. Hope everyone's having a great day. Oh, here we go. Gaia's Revenge. Another just right away. Cool list card. Rare. Uh I think this card's like a dollar. But, um, oh, there we go. Nahiri, the Unforgiving. Gorgeous artwork, our first mythic. And we have a Galissa Sun Slayer. And I'm keeping the Blight. I need some Blight Belly Rats. I need a bunch of these commons and uncommons still. Um, there are some really good commons and uncommons in this set. Not quite as many as something like Boulder's Gate, which has a ton. That's where a lot of the value is. Really good commons, uncommons. But um, there are some good ones in here. So we're on the lookout. Cool foiling here. Metatech. Quick look for Minor Misstep. Shieldra's Edict. Tyvar's Stand. Some of those good cards we got to look for. So far, though, not a great box. It is just just the beginning. But I wanted to try wanted to try something a little different. See how you all like it. Let me know in the comments if you like seeing the prices on the screen. Because um, they're going to fluctuate daily, so. As time goes on, if we keep doing them like this, it would be interesting and fun. If you don't like it, also let me know. You can just crack boxes and have commentary. But the idea is to grow this channel and make it as, you know, as fun. And oh my gosh, we hit it. Oh my gosh, it is in the set. The Blight Steel Colossus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beauty, Double Masters version. I mean, this card's at least $60. Um, for the list version, but we'll see. I'm going to... Oh my gosh. There it is. That is what this is all about, you guys. This is so much fun. Oh, I can't wait till I open more boxes. I'm thinking I'm going to start a Patreon. Be opening boxes for patrons at a as low of a price as I can, but man, even just opening these for myself is so much fun. Oh my gosh, there we go, the Blight Steel Colossus coming in. Oh baby, this box could be real good. When you hit cards like that, now if we hit like an Elish Norn or a Mondrak. Oh my gosh. Foil Spell Dancer. This card's pretty cool looking. The Rot Priest. All right. The best rare. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so now. We have a lot coming. 
A lot of boxes coming. Oh, there we go, Luca. Mythic number, I guess I'll put the Blight Steel over here. Three Mythics. We have a lot more stuff coming. We're going to cover all the new sets as they come out in the future. Do box openings and uh, have some fun ideas on things we can do. Also, we're going to go back in time. As the channel grows, we're going to open older and older product. The idea is uh, we're going to start at 1,000 subscribers. Our next mark, we're going to do uh, Throne of Eldraine. That should be really fun. Ooh, and a Heary. There we go. Mythic number four. Um, we've already done uh, Ikoria Collectors. That was really fun. Got some fun stuff. And then we also grade a lot of cards. So we have PSA returns. All stuff that we open on the channel. And then we update on when cards sell. We grade them and sell them. So we, we're growing this channel. It's... Taking, we're definitely taking suggestions too. Very open to what type of videos we should make, what you all want to see, what topics you want covered. So hit that subscribe and comment. Let us know what you like and what you don't like. And we will try and make videos for everybody. Tyvar, here we go. This has been a good box so far, that's for sure. Need to hit a Mondrak or an Elish Norn or a good foil, something really good. Maybe a myth, any mythics. <clears throat> Encroaching Microsynth. Beautiful. Foil, foil forest. The Hollow Sentinel. The Rat King. One of my favorites. One of my favorite cards in the set. I love these all these rats. I like the unique, fun tribes. I like squirrels, rats. All sorts of weird stuff like that. Of course, goblins. Who doesn't love goblins? The Mite. Kemba, cat decks, cat decks are fun. There's a lot of people who love the cat decks. Nice mountain there. I can't believe we hit the Blight Steel Colossus. So, so good. Opportunity, that's a cool, cool one. Throwback to Urza's. Target player draws four cards for six. Oh, a foil, Shrelv's Hive. Now that is a fun card. I love the poison and the infect. Beautiful swampy there. Beautiful swampy. I cannot believe we hit the blight steel. So we're still we're stuck at four mythics. I feel like every time I say that, we hit a mythic in that the next pack. So here we go. Definitely gonna be a mythic in here. Ooh, the monumental so we did hit a foil rare. Not very good though. Shieldred's Edict. I feel like we hit these two together all the time. Shieldred's Edict and Minor Misstep. That probably is a thing. Just started to pick up on. Sometimes the track print puts two cards next to each other very often. The Might. The Wanderer. Beauty. I like that card. Ooh, nice little signed Phyrexian Obliterator art signed. I want to make a set of the gold signatures. I think that'd be cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough boxes or be able to do it, but I might. It certainly would be fun. I think if over time, if I keep opening boxes, I'll be able to make the full set. Treasure Hunter. 
We are currently hunting for treasure, that's for sure. The grass. Expand the sphere. That pack opened clean. I wish they would all open that clean. The Varan Executioner. Still stuck at four mythics. Okay. Time for an Elish Norn. Ooh. Argentum Armor. Ooh, there we go. Mythic. Solfim Mayhem Dominus. Mythic number five. Lethal Demolition. Rebel Token. And a Phyrexian Vindicator. Ooh, we got a... I don't know what we have behind. I don't think it's a good card. Nope. But it is showcase. Phyrexian Vindicator. All right, Mythic number six. That's good. Now we're into like the safe territory. Getting at least six Mythics, you're usually doing pretty good. It's those boxes where you only get four, three, four, five, or sometimes you can be in trouble. However, when you hit a Blightsteel Colossus in a list, you know it's a good box, no matter what. Nice Phyrexian Arena signed. I don't think I have one signed of that card and we got a foil cough fire of resistance i wish they'd make the emblems foil too that'd be a cool suggestion just like one out of every 20 emblems is foil that would be my a good suggestion i think oh this is a is this a commander card I believe no it's not but i think i don't know for some reason i only get a couple of those All will be one art. Poison counter. The bulk land. All right, down to our last five packs here. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe, comment, It'll help uh, the channel spread and grow. The faster we grow, the more fun stuff we can open. And yeah, let us know in the comments if you think a Patreon is a good idea. If you'd want to do box openings, older boxes mostly. We could also do some at release. Our Gothian Elder. Also, any suggestions of what you think a good... Uh, like good tiers for a Patreon would be. We're, we're open to listening. You know, like uh, tier subscriptions and what you would get for those subscriptions sort of thing. Or if you're interested in just... Uh, ooh, there we go. Icos in the Gardens. Nice card. Wow, we got two showcases here. Geth, Thran of Contracts, and the uh, Kethic, Crucible, Goliath. Neither of those two were great, but we'll definitely take the Mycosin Gardens. That's a card that's come down in price, the Gardens, that uh, it's probably worth picking up a couple for your, for your collection. Just That card is good. I think it's about as low as it's going to be. Potentially. All right, here we go. A mythic in the list. Sun's Glory. For our seventh mythic rare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just a slam dunk home run product. I mean, the fact that you can get a Blight Steel Colossus in the list is just insane. Although you won't be very often, you still have a chance to pull one. Unbelievable. I love this. I just really love this set. I think it's a great start to the year. 
I'm going to be uh, bullish and positive moving forward. Let me make sure I didn't miss any mythics here. I don't think I did. Sometimes those showcases are can be a mythic. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next one. And uh, have a great day.